Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're looking at round and compare blocks. So round and compare blocks are in the red palette, or data operations, and that's the round block, and that's the compare block. If we pull out the round block, you'll see that it's got an input for whatever number you want to round. Um, for most cases, or actually probably all cases in the uh, in the data operations or red panel, you're going to want some sort of input. So for an input, we'll just use a read um, number. Since we're rounding, you can't round a text uh, text number or a text file. Um, we'll make a simple decimal, 1.2345. And since you can't see the entire number, we'll make a comment which says 1.2345. So you remember, you don't have to go through and look, and look at it. And if you hover over it, sometimes it'll show um, what's in the number. But yeah, so if you hover over value, it'll show. But this is a little bit more easier to see. So uh, over here, you have your input of your number and then your output of your rounded number so you're going to need a right block and all the variables are just set to uh, a variable that we created earlier called variable just for an example so what this does it'll round to the nearest decimal or um, round down one decimal so what it is is 1.2345 uh, rounding rules, remember, if you're 5 and above, you round up. So the result for this would be 1.235. That's what would come out. Now, if you are decided to round up, it only rounds to integers. Round up and round down rounds to integers. So if you round it up, you would just get an output of 2. And if you were round down, you'd get an output of 1. You wouldn't get any decimals. The last thing that it does is uh, truncate. So you can decide how many decimals you want uh, from your output. So it doesn't do any rounding. All it does is just chops off certain decimals. So say you want two decimals. Then you get 1.23. You could have however many decimals. And obviously it wouldn't work if you had more decimals than your number ex originally had. So you can't have, you know, 10 decimals. Then it doesn't let you see. The most you can have four because there's only four decimals to begin with. So we'll get rid of this part. And if we pull out our compare block, basically a compare block is comparing two different numbers and outputting a true or false statement whether or not what you're looking at is uh, true. So we'll just use two simple numbers, 3 and 2. And then we'll need a read block. And we'll make this one number one, this one number two. Change these to read. And we'll hook up number one to A and number two to B. Okay. So, um, this is useful for figuring out certain things, I guess. It, it really depends. There's no... This is always used for a certain thing. Um, I suppose you could use it kind of like uh, the logic operations block for telling if two things are correct or in position the way that you want them to be. So this could be like your motor speed and this could be your light sensor value or something or... I don't know, something that makes more sense than that, but maybe for your specific run, 
your light sensor should be reading a value lower than your motor speed at all times. Otherwise, it's wrong or broken or something like that. Or perhaps when your motor speed is greater than your light sensor value, you will do something else. Uh, basically, the, there's no uh, way you specifically use this block. Um, there are too many applications to just point out one. So, um, these are just um, things that you're looking for. Pretty simple, the m different modes. So, if the two numbers are equal, this will output is true. If not, it will be false. Since they're not equal, the output is false. And this is looking for not equal. So, both of them, they're not equal. So, output is true. Greater than. So, it's looking for A to be greater than B. And in this case, it's true. Because A is 3 and B is 2. So, output is true. So, now greater than or equal to. Output is true right now because 3 is greater than 2. But if uh, B or number 2 would be equal to 3, then it would also be true because both of the numbers are equal to each other. So, greater than or equal to, um, those are the two conditions where this would be true. Less than is looking for A to be less than B, or uh, 3 to be less than 2, which is not true, so you'd have a false output. And less than or equal to 3 is still not less than 2, so it would be false, and it's not equal to 2 either. So you're still false. Um, so that's kind of all the different settings for the rounding and uh, comparison block. And we'll wrap up probably the rest in one video or two uh, that are coming up with the uh, data operations. And then we'll take a look at my blocks, which are pretty fun.